It's okay to look foolish. Absolutely. Someone gave me the history of all successes and all successes pass through five stages. Five. Stage one, you're afraid to look foolish. Stage two, you look foolish. Stage three, you're actually foolish. Stage four, you gradually see some successes. And stage five, you're called a genius. I mean, think about it. All successes in the world, they really pass through all those five stages. And at first, you're afraid. Oh my gosh, people will say I'm foolish. And stage two, yes, I, I, I am looking foolish. And stage five, I'm actually foolish. Why am I doing this? But then if you just show up and keep on doing it and tweak and adjust and change, but never giving up, one day people will say, wow, that person is a genius. <laughs> I say that from experience. I remember when we started Anawim, our ministry for the abandoned elderly, I didn't know what I was doing. You know, we bought this property, we bought it for 50 pesos per square meter. It was that dirt cheap. It was in the boondocks. There was no running water, no electricity. That's why it was so cheap. And, and we bought five hectares. We started building Nipa huts. We started welcoming the poorest of the poor there. We, we didn't have a, like a training. We didn't have, we just, just accepted them. We loved them. We cared for them. But there were so many problems, financial problems. We didn't have enough money. We didn't have enough personnel. We did, as, as I told you, we didn't have the training how to do this. We didn't have social workers at the start. I mean, it was crazy. So much so, I actually felt that I was getting discouraged and depressed, except that I didn't know I was being de getting depressed. But there was this one day, I remember coming home from Anawim, I was driving a car, and then I had an accident. I actually didn't see that there was this car moving in my right side, and bang, thank God, nothing serious, uh, no injuries uh, with me or with the other car. And, but I just realized, it just woke me up. I, I just realized, wow, I'm, uh, this is not good. It's almost like I, I, I feel like my senses were not sharp anymore because of this discouragement that I was living in. There's this cloud of, of heaviness. And I just suddenly said, hey, can you help me? And I asked friends to pray for me. And I, thanks be to God, you know, I, I bounced after that but what i'm telling you you know when you look at anawim now after 29 years of ministry and how everything is now working and there are ministries beautiful homes there people say it's like a resort and then the old people abandoned elderly people there are just receiving love and Oh my gosh, spending 1.7 million pesos every single month now, you know, in the operations, hiring caregivers and nurses and, and, and oh my gosh, it is just being blessed by God. But it all started with being foolish. <laughs> After, my dear friends, all successes, it all starts with, with that. Why am I sharing this with you? Because in the gospel, we have Jesus and he did not only do something foolish, he did something forbidden. You know, the religious leaders were saying, what are you doing? You know, but Jesus did it anyway, and he pressed on. And maybe right now in your life, you want to do something for God. You want to accomplish something. You, you want to fulfill a certain dream. And you know, right now you're foolish. Right now you don't know what you're doing. Right now you lack this, you lack that. Just show up. Just show up and continue to be consistent, continue to adjust and tweak and change because one day you're gonna be called a genius. Before we pray, can I invite couples, married couples who want to have a retreat in Japan? That's right, far away. Um, but take a vacation before or after our couples retreat. It will be beautiful, it will enrich 
your marriage. Absolutely, I totally believe in that. I want you to go to bosanchez.ph slash Japan. It will be this coming November, and I pray that it will just enrich your life. If you know of anyone who wants to take this couples retreat, tell them to go to bosanchez.ph slash Japan. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus, help us to keep on showing up, to keep on being consistent, to press on through the stages when we feel foolish and we are foolish, so that your will be done and your dream will be accomplished in our life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Once again, to couples, married couples, if you want to join our couples retreat, it will be in Japan in November. And the link is, for more details, bosanchez.ph slash Japan. God bless you. See you tomorrow.